founded by Clarence 13X Smith. They're known as the Five Percenters. The Five Percenter is a poor, righteous teacher who does not believe in the teachings of the Ten Percent. Now, the Ten Percent is the rich slave maker of the poor who teach the poor lies to believe that the Almighty True and Living God is a spook that cannot be seen by the physical eye, and they are otherwise known as bloodsuckers of the poor. Now, the 85 percenter is the uncivilized people, and meaning the majority, those who are easily led in the wrong direction, but so hard to be led in the right direction. At first sight, the link between the five percenters and the Nation of Islam is tenuous. But Smith, a member of Malcolm X's Harlem Mosque, actually based most of his teachings on those handed down from the messenger. However, Smith's idiosyncratic interpretations of the message caused friction. He was ready to tell them that he was Allah. What the father understood was that if Allah could come in the person of Master Fahd Muhammad, then Allah could come in the person of him. Not surprisingly, Smith and the nation parted company. Smith formed the Five Percenters, renamed himself Father Allah, and took his message to the people in places he thought it was most needed, young blacks on the streets of Harlem. You couldn't go to a movie and see a Muslim. Muslims didn't go to movies. They didn't go to discotheques. That's where our people that need knowledge itself is. They in the movies. They in the discotheques. You see what I'm saying? They in the dice holes. They in the drug dens. Who gonna teach them people? Who gonna teach them? He was a leader who made leaders. He wouldn't make no followers. And he told us to be leaders who make leaders. Because you got to stand out and be the arm, leg, leg, arm, head. That ain't nothing but A-L-L-A-H. <laughs> That's Allah. You see? The five percenters' practices differ significantly from the nation's. Father was not a holy man. It's the nation of gods and earth, not the nation of angels. So you may see a five percenter smoking a cigarette, drinking a beer. That's the other people's. What's the difference between five percent and Muslim? A true Muslim you wouldn't see smoking a, a, a cigarette or drinking a beer or smoking a joint. You know, a five percenter, you'll see smoking a cigarette, drinking a beer, smoking a joint. I'm telling you the truth. Father Allah was shot dead in 1969. Kalim, who was living at the Allah Center at the time, blames the FBI. Our father told us a long time ago, we're not an organization, we're a nation. And he would not let us structure ourselves like an organization. This is one of the reasons that J. Edgar Hoover, that transvestite chicken hawk faggot, this is one of the reasons he wasn't able to destroy us. I rest in Mecca, one of the way street Dutch Texas. The five percenters live on in the street culture. They were instrumental in the creation and direction of one of the most dynamic black musical genres of the 1980s. Hip hop. Whatever's here always have been and always will be eternally. Be taking you to school with the right and two. And if you hear one, you hear all. We share the same core. Got you bouncing like basketballs. Lay your ass in the mall. Peace, peace, peace. I think they're central to the hip hop culture. I can tell when someone is a five percenter because of what the focus of the, the record is on. Uh, be it relationship justice or justice between black folk and white folk, looks at society. Uh, generally speaking, you can see some five percent influence there. They know that they are great black men and that their people are great people. And that's the message they're giving to the young. We are great people. Now, what do you think the young black want to listen to?